A patrol base is a position set up when a squad or platoon conducting a patrol halts for an extended period. Patrol bases should be occupied no longer than 24 hours, except in an emergency. The patrol never uses the same patrol base twice. The patrol leader must ensure that subordinate leaders establish a priority of work to accomplish patrol base activities. The patrol leader selects the tentative site from a map or by aerial reconnaissance. The site's suitability must be confirmed. It must be secured before occupation. Plans to establish a patrol base must include selecting an alternate patrol base site. The alternate site is used if the first site is unsuitable, compromised, or if the patrol must unexpectedly evacuate the first patrol base. Site selection criteria includes the following. Planning considerations are A patrol base is established using the following steps. The patrol base is reconnoitered and established the same as an objective rally point, ORP, except that the patrol will enter at a 90 degree turn if required. This action is MET TC dependent. If there is nothing to be gained by doing this step, then the unit does not do it, for example flat desert terrain. The patrol leader halts 300 meters from the planned patrol base site. The patrol leader selects the compass man, an observation post team, and two men from each subordinate element for the leader's recon. The patrol leader briefs the assistant patrol leader with a contingency plan before leaving. An observation post is established 100 meters short of the planned patrol base at the 90 degree turn, if required. After assessing the suitability of the site, the patrol leader leaves a two-man security detail at the 2, 6, and 10 o'clock positions. The patrol leader and compass man move back to the rest of the patrol. The rest of the patrol is briefed on any change in the plan. If the patrol base is being established at night, the security team member at the 6 o'clock position facing towards the rest of the patrol must have a visual reference like a chem light, flashlight, or illuminated compass lens. The compass man leads the rest of the patrol back towards the patrol base. The patrol moves through the OP and stops at the 6 o'clock position. The patrol leader leads the first element from the 6 o'clock position to the 10 o'clock position through the 2 o'clock position. The patrol leader places each member in a straight line between the two security teams. The patrol leader returns to the 6 o'clock position for the second element. The patrol leader moves the second element from the 6 o'clock position to the 2 o'clock position and places each member in a straight line between the two security teams. The patrol leader returns to the 6 o'clock position for the third element. The patrol leader moves the third element from the 6 o'clock position to the 10 o'clock position and places each member in a straight line between the two security teams. The most casualty producing weapon for each element is initially placed at the left flank of that element's position. The patrol leader moves to the center of the patrol base and establishes the command post. If the observation post was not established, the patrol leader now sends out an ambush team approximately 100 meters from the 6 o'clock position. They move off the trail and observe for 30 minutes to ensure no enemy force has followed the patrol. After 30 minutes, the ambush team, observation post team, returns to the patrol base through the 6 o'clock position. After the patrol leader has checked each squad sector, the squad leaders and another squad member from each squad report to the CP as a recon and surveillance RNS team. The platoon leader issues the three RNS teams a contingency plan and reminds them that they are looking for the enemy, water, built up areas or human habitat, roads and trails, and any possible rally points. Squads occupying a patrol base on their own do not send out RNS teams at night. If the patrol leader feels that the patrol may have been compromised or tracked during the initial occupation, he or she may elect to maintain 100% security and wait a while in total silence before sending out the RNS teams. The RNS team departs from the left flank of their squad sector and moves out a given distance, as directed by the patrol leader in his instructions. The distance the RNS team moves away from the squad sector will vary depending upon the terrain and vegetation, anywhere from 200 to 400 meters. All members of the patrol are on 100% alert during this time. The team moves in a clockwise direction and re-enters the patrol base at the right flank of their squad sector. The RNS team, if at all possible, 
should prepare a sketch of the squad's front. Once all squad leaders, RNS teams, have completed their recon, they report back to the patrol leader at the CP. The patrol leader gathers the information from his three RNS teams and determines if the patrol is going to be able to use the location as a patrol base. If the patrol leader determines that he will be able to use the location as a patrol base, he gives the following information to his assistant patrol leader and squad leaders, and then disseminates other information such as daily challenge and password, frequencies, and call signs. Squad leaders return to their squads, give out the information, and begin the priorities of work as stated by the patrol leader. Security. Only one point of entry and exit is used. Noise and light discipline are maintained at all times. Everyone is challenged. Squad leaders supervise the placement of aiming stakes and ensure claymores are put out. Each squad establishes an OP and may quietly dig hasty fighting positions. Squad leaders prepare and turn in sector sketches to include range cards. Alert plan. The patrol leader states the alert posture, for example 50% or 33%, and the stand-to time for both day and night. He sets up the plan to ensure positions are checked periodically, OPs are relieved periodically, and ensure that at least one leader is up at all times. Withdrawal plan. The patrol leader designates which signal to use if contact is made, for example, colored star cluster. The order of the withdrawal if forced out, for example, squads not in contact will move first. And the rendezvous point for the patrol, if the patrol is not to link up at an alternate patrol base. Maintenance plan. The patrol leader ensures that crew served weapons, other weapon systems, communication equipment, and MVDs are not broken down at the same time for maintenance. They also redistribute ammunition. Sanitation and personal hygiene plan. The assistant patrol leader ensures the platoon slit trench is dug and marked at night with a chemical light inside the trench. Soldiers ensure that no trash is left behind, as the patrol base must be sterilized upon departure. Mess plan. No more than half the patrol eats at one time. Water resupply. The assistant patrol leader organizes a watering party. They carry canteens in an empty rucksack. Squads have the same requirements with their squad patrol base as platoons. The patrol base is a temporary, forward, static position out of which a patrol conducts a series of missions. Understanding the setup of a patrol base can initially be a challenge, but with practice, becomes second nature.